Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with part 27 of the Aurelian Let's Play. Total War, Rome 2, Empire Divided. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. It's all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. And before we end the turn, many of you were saying, Lanhart, you forgot about this army up here. Go smash some Bactrians, which is exactly what I'll do. Oh, they've got an army here. Well, I say an army. A rabble. So let's uh, give them a rabble's death. Down they fall, and occupy. Okay, um... Do we have anything we need to build anywhere else? Do we have anyone we need to upgrade before I end the turn? You guys! Public order, yep, have that, and movement range. Yeah, so, next time we're going to try and push, um, towards that. In fact, we can move a little bit further with him, can't we? Aurelian. Let's uh, set his guys to have some cavalry upgrades. And let's go in. So we can take that next turn. And we've been making sort of friends with the Markomani. Gods of the afterlife, spare my ass. Spare my ass. So um we've got non aggression with them and they're at war <coughs> with the Germanic um or well, sorry, the German Confederation. So hopefully they'll stop pushing from uh, from the west to the east to knock them out. That'd be useful. But I can send my spy up here, can't I? Can I see anyone coming? Not yet. The Mark have actually got Istros. Okay, that's useful. Good to know. You guys can also have some upgrades. Go for it. Um, there we go, that's fine. You guys, I'm going to send you over to Petrodava next turn. Claim that. You've got some mercenary cavalry here. Um, I'll upgrade these guys. We won't upgrade you, though, because I imagine we're going to get rid of you. In fact, can we actually recruit anything? Uh, it'd be infantry of some kind, and uh, we can't. Uh, it's not exactly like we can get elephants here, so we'll leave you for now, then. I guess, to be honest, you might as well have the upgrade silver horses as well. Bit of cavalry for you. Uh, other than that, uh, Palmyra is going to surrender this turn. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. We can't reach it with any of our forces. So, we're going to have to reclaim that. Alexandra's over here, but I reckon that... Uh, who is it that's war at war with them now, alongside me? Uh, yeah, Numidia. I reckon they'll probably move an army in there and claim it. They're gonna hit us over here, so once we're done with those uh, tower hex rooms, we'll need to move pronto um, over there. Uh, now that we're in the right sea region at the very least. Okay, and of course we are continuing to siege their capital. I'm hoping that we can actually push for a siege battle, but we'll have to wait and see what they do. Although, why aren't they taking attrition? Shouldn't they be taking attrition by now? Uh, unless they have a thing that stops them taking attrition? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Got this army over here as well, which I'm going to move... That actually reach that this turn. I think I'm seeing a little bit of a red arrow appear by that bridge. Here I am. Yeah, we had them dead on 50%. Okay. Upgrade cavalry as well. That's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll move in and take that next turn. And then that army could always move down here to support. Because I imagine this one... You're going to need to, one, deal with those rebels and also reclaim Palmyra shortly. Um, this fleet... I think you've sending you up here. Support these guys, which I'm going to send over there, build up a force, and then come back over. Or we could always bring this army over, actually, to hit them. Got every, every cavalry unit can be upgraded right now. Okay, right, I think we're done. Um, end the turn. See what occurs. Oh, my spy had to move. Fair enough.
Popular surrenders, yeah, as expected. And they're under siege as well. Rebellion there. Oh, and Tribune's order. Yeah, I'm actually surprised by this because I thought this sort of uh, dilemmas and events would not be save game compatible, which is what I'm thinking caused my uh, save game corruption a couple of episodes back, but then we managed to save it. Uh, which is that this is a this is the new feature with the uh, latest patch and sort of um, that came alongside the is it Desert Kingdoms uh, DLC, which I, I still haven't looked at to be honest. Um, has anyone played it much and enjoying it? Not enjoying it? What uh, what, are, what are your thoughts? Um, but yeah, basically we can hire the Tribune's daughter, or we can get political favor favor plus six with all political parties. Which actually that would be far more practical. But seeing as this is kind of a new feature, I'm gonna hire her and see what we can do. So we should have a new character. Yep, there we go, Gratia. And we can do a political marriage uh, with one of our rivals to placate them. So I'm gonna go with these guys. So she's now married. And uh, she's got a flirtatious husband, which gives us plus three loyalty, minus one gravitas per turn, plus one cunning. Uh, so if we go over to the, the politics screen, they're now minus nine. I still think I'm going to throw in secure loyalty, because that will bring them to plus one. And I'm just going to throw in secure loyalty with these guys while we've got the money available. Just to stabilize things. We don't want another civil war around about now. That would be disastrous. Uh, we can also go for something here, which is she's on three, four, three. So that's, that's cunning. So let's increase our cunning. If we can, we must have some some uh, rest you hit. Local bandit. There we go. So, um, administrator, gravitas per turn, loyalty of the parties. There's minus two for all other parties, five turns. Diplomat. Oh, okay. I just think, has that always been a thing where it drops loyalty for other parties? Because, uh, that's kind of annoying. That would be four turns that would make these guys not very happy again, but I'm thinking we could actually utilize one of those uh, missing pieces. You guys are all generals, <laughs> although you need marrying, so I could do a marriage there, but that wouldn't actually do any, any good for us, really, as far as I understand it. Um... So we probably want to just leave things, we don't want to actually do anything there, we want to leave things for now. Uh, embezzle funds. Parties may not like it. All the parties. So we'll get some money. We can secure promotion. We'll see for the political party the character belongs to. Minus two for all other parties two turns. Has that changed for all these guys as well? Minus two loyalty. Or was that always there? I swear in some cases it may have been there and I may have not noticed it. Uh, but maybe that is new. The shake-up of the power and politics. Um... Because, yeah, there's only two turns worth of loyalty, but I really should probably increase these. It'd be quite useful, but we need to build up relations with these guys. I can't secure loyalty anymore because they've already been favoured. I could continue to secure loyalty with you guys. Um, we don't have that much money anyway. Uh, they're 17 anyway, so I don't think that's the we, we shouldn't do that for now. Right, let's go knock these guys out. Although, actually, before we do that, let's knock away these rebels. Goodbye. Right, that slays them. We're probably going to have public order problems. I kind of wish I'd poison these guys a little bit now. Why are they not taking attrition, though? Says they should be taking attrition, but they're not. Meaning, while my army is actually getting weaker and weaker, I definitely need another army to actually smash through. But one more turn till the light batching ram is done. But I need more forces. Ooh, Media have a large army there. Probably should look to move in on that. Can we catch it? Oh, God, it's just out of our range. No, because they're in force march. But maybe Galatia can do that. I'm going to go hit Ekbatana while we can. While it's exposed to us. Oh, wait, no, because we took that. Media's gone. That was our last fact. That, oh, that was our last region. <laughs> Got orange over here. What's this? Oh, that's Marigania. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, that dealt with those armies. Uh, practice field? No, get rid of that. 
yes, you can keep the barracks over here because I'm planning on this being the uh, sort of gateway territory as such. Let's not do that. Let's convert that over. That's far more important for now. Oh, there's going to be a rebellion. But yeah, I could bring this army down to help out next turn. That's a pretty solid force. All I'm thinking is, can't I just bring a better army over and just swap all the units in that are, like... If I brought these guys over in a couple of turns, we could just swap units into it, couldn't we? Swap all of them that are weakened out and then we can go in. These guys then have acted as a siege army and then we've got a brand new fresh force to actually go in and do the damage. That sounds that sounds good to me. Let's do that. Uh, with this spy there, can I take out some of their agents? Well, I could do if I had money, but I don't have money. Uh, let's bring this agent over here. So yeah, we really need to get you guys back on over then in a turn or two. Uh, logistics, upkeep and replenishment. Yes, please. And movement range. Yep. You guys are going to be unhappy. You're about to get that though over there. I mean, it's mainly because I've probably still got my taxes all the way cranked up, even if we lower them one. We go negative, so we can't even have that. Ay, 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 ay. They're under siege over here. How many troops can you actually get? You've got eight. Uh, eight plus... I mean, my garrison navy would be fine. Oh, they're going to go in next turn, though. That's the thing. It's not like I can recruit any more ships, actually, anyway, so we might as well aim to bring them over. That's fine. Right now, let's go... Oh, the marker man, he just couldn't quite make it. In we go. I think we got there just before they did. Oh, we are, we are being reinforced by them. 100%. Lovely. Claim it. This is once again ours. We've got the full territory. We'll have to convert you next turn. Um, I mean, I don't really want a long protracted war with the German Confederation. I'd be quite happy to take peace and let the let them go after the marker man. Because I'd like to get these armies, including Aurelians, over towards Gaul so we can start doing some stuff over there. Um, yeah, we need to reconvert all that over. Shortly. So yeah, this is a good army. We're definitely going to want that in Gaul. So it's one, two... And three. They're all good. Uh, could use, although we can get rid of these mercenaries now, actually. Now we've stopped the initial threat. And you guys can get some uh, some proper, well, some Roman units in there. Some more Roman units, anyway. Um, I'm wondering if actually we maybe want to pop a couple of Onigas into Aurelian's army while we're, while we're this way as well. Um... Legionaries are technically weaker than the Avocati cohort, but I'm actually thinking maybe I'll just scrap the pikemen. Um, or we could scrap a pikeman unit and one legionary unit. Although actually with the extra veterancy there, better than those guys, but that's, that's going to change once they catch up, I'm sure. Oh, that's why I was looking at the wrong ones anyway. Oopsie, I was going between those two. Um, okay, so we get rid of one, one pike unit and one legionary unit. And then we'll get in Onigas. We'll do that. Uh, if we get rid of them this turn, we'll save some upkeep cost, won't we? Uh, let's not get rid of you, the your elite. It's going to be one of you guys. So I have two, we'll have two pike units. That leaves room for two Onigas. A lovely. And we've got rid of your mercenary, so you can have uh, good, strong Roman units. Lovely. Um... Talking of other armies, I actually kind of feel like maybe we could get rid of this force. I'd say get rid of that navy, but we need to keep it. We probably actually need that army for... Uh... Uh... Oh yeah, we actually need one more to... <laughs> one more unit somewhere. Uh, land unit. Which we just disbanded underneath that, didn't we, anyway? Uh, just because I was thinking we could move this army over to actually reclaim that. But... At the moment, we can't get there. And there's lots of public order problems. So, okay, look, we'll keep you there. And I'm going to send this ship. 
over there as well. See what we can build up. Right, so you're your own region. You're your own region and you're all unhappy. Goody. Um, you've got... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these military buildings, actually. Don't need them up there. Same with that one. It means we definitely need to build some stuff next turn. I'm going to destroy that down a level because we don't have enough to convert it over to the Tier 2 building anyway. Uh, and we'll turn away from finishing that. Okay, cool. Right. End the turn. Oh, they're trying to harass me. Have they taken out my general? But they've taken out my Oh no, he's killed him. Boom. Bopped him one. I bet they've taken out my general in that army. My lord is willing to lay down the sword. It is not often that he is moved to mercy. Ah, they want peace because they've just lost Alexandria to Numidia. Um you are sieging me over there, that would sort out that whole siege, wouldn't it? Please, and you give me money. Lovely. That's it, they can go home. Rebellion. Country reforms. Enemy wounded. Good. Lots of banditry. And the rival banquet. Uh, you know what? Let's attend. And what do we want? Prosperity, stability, victory, or power. Seize control. Stability, appease the masses. Prosperity, fill your coffers. Victory, win the war. Uh, I'd still like to prosperity, fill my coffers. So I'm going to go for that. And I'm going to sneeze. Hey, shoo! Woo! Hope you enjoyed that, headphone users. <laughs> um, yeah, rebels, goodbye. I said goodbye. Level five military traditions. Yep, yeah, extra campaign map movement range. Unfortunately, moving out to those rebels means I can't get down here this turn. Are they still not taking? Why are you taking attrition? I can understand if you had a port, but you don't have a port. Why is this? Okay, so it didn't take out my general, but I'm starting to suffer from that attrition. I'm going to go towards this manufacturing investment. It costs a thousand gold uh, per turn of research, and it takes nine turns. That's okay. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is bring this army over. But we still need steel. What about manipulation? 71% chance of at least uh, stopping them for a turn. Go for it. Ah. But he's on his guard now, isn't he? Risk it. Damn it. I'm only going to take one turn to replenish. Two turns to replenish. The thing is, well, these guys aren't exactly great for pushing forward because it's all mainly all levies. So those guys are going to sally out to me if I'm not careful. So yeah, Numidia has taken Alexandria, and they're moving in on these guys. That's why they pulled their army back, or de were desperate to do that. That's fine, because Numidia is still, still on my side, just. Just. Um, 
I still want to build you guys up to your proper navy, so back you go over there. Oh, I tore down loads of buildings over here. Let's uh, let's deal with that first. Public order is what we need first and foremost. Banditry reduction and manufacturing because we're going for that whole. Uh, Um, extra manufacturing thing. You guys are building up rather nicely. Uh, well, yeah, we're building up rather nicely, but it obviously it doesn't look good for us. You guys stay there. Uh, go for a garrison, Colonia, and you should be okay. Not gonna put in any, any extra troops there just yet, though. Over here, yeah, we got lots to convert. <laughs> And now I don't have enough to get onigers, do I? Ah. Yeah, let's don't convert you over. Because it's kind of important that I at least get him up and running. Uh, I'm going to send the spy over here to see if they've got any more armies. It actually looks like they've made a quite a big... Have they made a big push in? They, or is it just because they've lost that territory there? It looks like they've got le less... I have to be careful because otherwise the Marco Mani will just replace the German Confederation as, as the threat to the north. Welcome. Speak. Come on. That's why I ideally want to get the other parties to like me a little bit more so I can then do an action which uh, will, will reduce their loyalty but will allow me to uh, improve relations with the Marco Mani. Also, yeah, this army could be the one that swaps in as well. So let's bring you guys here. In fact, there we go. Move you into that territory. You'll still replenish up. Then actually, yeah, we can just get you guys in next turn. Otherwise, I don't think these guys are going to make it. And I think we're going to get attacked otherwise if we wait too long. <coughs> <coughs> Actually, I should have put extra equipment into the siege. Oh, they're actually sallying out to me anyway. Oh, that's a shame. We waited so long to siege it. Although, I'm not actually sure we can win. There's a lot of solid cavalry. Order Resolve says uh, it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory no matter what. With either with our best chance of uh, coming out with 40% of our force. I don't think we're, that's going to happen. But we'll see. Um, let's... Uh, Let's fight it. We'll stand our ground. They're coming to us. Let's see if we can hold. Oh, I really wanted to have a siege, guys. <laughs> Even the game's like, nope. <laughs> no siege for you. Alright. There's some nice high ground over here we could look to try and control. Do that. Uh, also, I'm going to put my cavalry in the trees back here. Nice and in. Elephants are my surprise weapon. Surprise! I think they've got an elephant general, though. Um, let's have Kohors and the Legionary in the center. As soon as they've got lots of cavalry, I think they're going to they're going to try and charge us. So let's um hold our ground for a little bit. Keep the elephants back. We'll deploy them when we need to. You guys hold that flank. Guard mode. Guard mode. We just got to, yeah. Take it. Take it carefully, I think. Maybe hide the elephants back here, if at all possible. Can you hide elephants? Probably not. Let's just keep them here. They've got a uh, slope they come down towards, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold position here, but I probably should have pulled back a bit. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Okay, that's the garrison coming on out. Still gonna pop my cavalry in the trees here though. I'm gonna hit fast forward. 
Yeah, okay, they're moving up the top of the hill. They've attacked me, though, so they, they have to come to me to engage. I imagine they're just going to wait for all their troops to assemble, and then they're going to come at me. My infantry should absolutely butcher theirs. It's all the cavalry, though, that I'm worried about. And here they are. I know exactly who I want you guys to focus on. Our hidden units have been discovered. The uh, General's Elephants. Because I don't want to use my cavalry while their cavalry is still on the field and still looking pretty powerful. Oh, they've got heavy cataphracts over there. Uh-oh. Here the cavalry comes. Ooh, your poor levies. Now that they've engaged, though, with most of them, it's going to those camels. Our hidden units have been discovered. Try and hold. Oh, got caught out by those guys then. Ah, left click drag. Why? One of our units has used all its ammunition. In fact, let's get the elephants up here. Cavalry back. Ah, I can't quite hit that general yet. Managing the hold at the moment. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I'm just gonna power the elephants through here, and it's gonna hurt my own units, but. The men are wavering. All of you on the general elephant, on the general's elephants. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 quick. I need it berserked. Because they're coming. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, that general's gone down. I think they got peeled hard. Oh, I'm getting a bit leg. Get the cavalry out of there. Oh, it's just a random dude on his own. Not even an elephant anymore. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Swing around and deal with that flank first. Lost their general from what I can tell. And I've lost my cavalry. <coughs> Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. They sit under my control. Damn.
Uh oh, Catafrax. On the archers. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Big elephants. Crush. Right, they've now berserked. Okay, after all that siege prep, no siege. Well, there's still there's still probably a siege to be had, but I imagine that we've taken that army out. These guys on the field, it's not going to be particularly interesting. I think we need to kill the elephants. There we go. Down they go. They're just going to cause more trouble there. An entire unit has perished. Camel archers after this to tear down. Is it'll be going to have enough to take out all those missile units. Rather intense fighting down here. We got those camel archers. Need like massive peeler throws here, guys, to even have a hope of catching this lot. And only the levies have got peeler. So pull back. Units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, don't worry about the camels. Just break these guys. And get General out of there. Managed to do a number on their Royal Archers, though. Peel a throw. Yeah, that's all that gone. Don't dare go in with my general again till that. Oh, horse archers have gone. Okay, royal archers, get them. Go, go, go. Crush them. Let the horse archers go. They just run away. The battle is turning in our favor. Good. That army that we brought down can then go in and finish the siege and we can pull these guys back. I mean, they needed a retrofit anyway because they still had levies, but... Don't know how we're going to quite deal with those camel archers. I hope to have to hope they run out of ammo. You have two units that have got Peeler, though. So take them out that way. What happened to those horse archers? They just break, though. Oh no, they're charging us. I think we can probably get away with a fast forward now. Boom. End that battle. Costly victory. 
Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to fight that one anyway, because obviously we were going to fight that siege. Now it's a bit moot, because uh, they don't have a, uh, barely any decent troops left. So we can order resolve that. But uh, I think, yeah, that might be the last decent... I say decent, it, was, it wasn't exactly amazing. But I think that's the last uh, major bit of opposition the Sassanids will throw at us for now. We lose one auxiliary hunter, two legionary units, and uh, both units of cavalry and the elephants. That's okay. These people <laughs> the they want me to re-declare war. That would break... I'm going to decline it, because that would break uh, any reliability I have left. Although, at this point in the game, do we need to worry about reliability that much? Um, they swept behind me, yep. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Rat infestation. The cats helped for eight turns. We have now plus four sanitation. Boom. That's good. So with that in place... Oh, we can still do the original plan that we had of swapping the troops over. Yeah, because they're now sieging with a fully replenished force. But it is a slam dunk. As much as I want to see that tortoise in action, I'll see if we can maybe get another opportunity at some point to have a tortoise. But there's no point manually fighting that. Occupy their capital falls. And we've now got a solid army uh, there. So we'll pull these guys back. Uh, actually, need to see where we've got anywhere that we can. Oh, Antioch, actually, yeah. We should send them over there and draw this army this way to uh, defend things. Especially because there's going to be another rebellion over there soon. And Assassins have brought armies up this way too. So might want to move this army south. But we'll do that next time. So I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take Prime on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors. Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Until the next one, ciao for now.